What you're looking at is our, uh, our newest site uh, in development, and it's known as a GSAS site, or Ground Station as a Service. Inside this big global dome here is a satellite dish. The dome is there to protect the uh, dish from the weather. We get a little bit of snow here in Bowdoin, a little bit, right? Um, and what these satellite services are providing are goods and services to the region. It's actually licensed to operate within the boundaries of uh, Sweden. Um, and these LEO, low Earth orbit and mid Earth orbit type satellite services, which are becoming more and more prevalent in the world, are part of the digital ecosystem. And what we're here to do is to help address the digital divide uh, that exists around the world. This is fil fulfilling a part of the uh, support of addressing the digital divide in Northern Sweden and in Sweden as a whole. It's providing more goods and services to the, to the good people of uh, Sweden and, uh, and the surrounding communities and countries in Northern Europe. These type of satellite services provide uh, everything from uh, supporting uh, trucking companies and uh, to track systems. They also provide a lot of tracking of the satellites and they support the satellites that are in space. There's a lot of that activity going on in here. Where they're, uh, and it's just helping the telemetry, keeping the satellites in orbit, helping uh, it's health and monitoring, if you if you will, of the satellite systems themselves. Uh, they are spinning around the globe, and they need to be uh, they need to be kept in orbit properly. This is part of that solution. It's very cool if you think about the fact that here in Bowdoin, we're helping to keep satellites in in the right position in space. From the goods and services, you're also seeing the growth and proliferation and continued access to internet services uh, of all types, not just uh, being able to use your smartphone or your tablets, but also to get access to content and to help the, grow the businesses and the economy and the gross domestic product of this region. We, we know it's a good area to establish uh, satellite communication. Uh, and uh, it will be very exciting to understand what the synergies and what the side effects will be of such an establishment. So it's a very exciting establishment for, for Borden's municipality. Uh, we, ha we have the data centers uh, around here and we know this is communication. So we can see synergies already between these two industries, but, but it's... it's uh, very exciting for, for the municipality to have a new industry here, which is the space industry, I would say. It's been a, a very great experience for us because uh, everything from uh, dealing with the land and the permits and the spectrum license to operate these satellite dishes has been uh, very much a team approach. Whether the Bowdoin Business Agency helped or, or they would introduce us to uh, the right people to help us along, the support of the city, the mayor's office, the deputy mayors, um, and uh, many of the community members here who support us. We have uh, been supported greatly by a local local company, of Dorca, in the construction and continuing support of this site. We needed to be able to have a, a company that we could count on that would help us, you know, both clear the site and prepare it. We had to make it pad ready. As you can see, they, they cleared the trees, put the gravel pad in, they also supported us in uh, all of the putting all of the conduit for power and fiber that connects the satellite dishes to our technical shed here, uh, helping to, to manage uh, the construction of the fence. Whenever we come up here with a customer, they help. Uh, they they step right in and help out um, uh, with whatever we need. And frankly, that is uh, it's been a real blessing to uh, to have a, a teammate like that.